Hi there. In this video, we're going to look at setting up a Seaboard with Bitwig 8-Track, which is bundled with the Seaboard and provides a great interface for recording and editing the Seaboard's multidimensional MIDI data. Before we start, we're going to open up the Roly Dashboard application and check a few settings. If you've installed the Seaboard software bundle, you'll find Roly Dashboard in your Applications or Programs folder. Dashboard will control the way that the Seaboard sends MIDI and is a great tool for setting up with other instruments and applications. Down here on the right, we're going to select multi-channel mode, and since Bitwig is MPE compatible, we're also going to set that to on. Next, we'll select a channel range from 2 to 16, and you'll notice that the global channel automatically sets itself to 1. We'll also want to set Dashboard's pitch bend range to 48, which will allow us to glide up to 48 semitones up and down from a starting note on the Seaboard. Next, let's open up Bitwig. We want Bitwig to receive MIDI from the Seaboard, so we'll open up Options, Preferences, and under the Controllers tab we can click Detect Available Controllers. There's the Seaboard, we're ready to go. This blank project has an instrument track already, so to add an instrument to it just click on the little plus sign down in the device panel. This button at the bottom will show or hide the device panel. I'm going to select the Equator plugin now, which is under Roly. This first simple sound is the initialized preset. We can click on the title here and select any other preset for some fully responsive Seaboard sounds. Now, just to be sure that everything is working perfectly, we can open up Equator's menu in the top right and select MIDI slash MPE settings. Here, we'll make sure that Equator's MIDI settings are the same as those we set in Roly Dashboard earlier on. This way the Seaboard is sending what Equator is listening for, and the musical response will be just right. You're all ready. Press record and go. Now we're going to use the Seaboard with one of Bitwig's built-in instruments. I'm going to load up one of my favourites, the organ. So here we have a normal organ sound, but no special response to the Seaboard's dimensions of touch just yet. We can set those responses here by just clicking on the source, then clicking and dragging on the parameter we want to modulate. Vel here responds to Seaboard Strike. I'm going to click and drag to assign it to Gain. Now striking the key waves harder produces a note with higher gain. I'll just extend the range here by reducing the bass value and increase the modulation amount. Great, now I've got a nice range of gain levels responding to Strike on the Seaboard. So next I'll click Press, which responds to the Seaboard's press dimension, and using the same click and drag technique, I'm setting the organ's draw bars to respond to the continuous pressure that I can apply to the key waves. And you'll notice that the press modulation is polyphonic. Next I'll map Tom, which responds to the Seaboard Rise's slide dimension, to pitch. This won't sound very musical right now, but it is a great noise. As I move my finger up and down the key wave's length, it adjusts the pitch, and the other dimensions are still active too. This is another Bitwig instrument called Polysynth, and the modulation mapping is the same. Vel is strike, Tarmb is slide, and press is press. All of these parameters control polyphonically through the key waves. <laughs> 